Okay, let me move in to our next speaker, Eric Dominguez, CSP, that stands for Certified Speaking Professional, is an expert on leadership, communication, and storytelling. With over 25 years of experience, Eric energizes and equips leaders to overcome communication fears and inefficiencies and confidently speak up their stories. His programs are for organizations that want to use the connecting power of communication to turn prospects into clients and increase employee productivity and retention. His speak up team oriented approach centers around a philosophy that everyone has a unique story and that anyone can share their minds and hearts with confidence, power, and yes, a lot of fun. I give you Eric Dominguez. Good morning. There are many advantages to virtual events. There's also a few disadvantages. One of the disadvantages that I have found is that in every virtual event, inevitably, somebody starts to talk only to realize that they are on mute. In fact, I'm confident that 100% of the people watching this have experienced that. And you start to say something brilliant, impactful, hysterical, only to be kindly reminded, hey, Eric, we couldn't hear you. You're on mute. It's a little bit dejecting having to start over. But I don't think that that feeling is exclusive to virtual events. In fact, I'm clear that 100% of us have experienced the feeling of being on mute. We are having a conversation or giving a presentation in whatever context, face-to-face, -face, virtual, phone call, and the people on the other end can hear our words. But our words aren't landing. They're not informing, they're not inspiring. And again, it's really dejecting. And you know what's worse? What's worse is the feeling of putting ourselves on mute. I call it the lump in our throat. It's when our minds and our hearts, our thoughts and our feelings collide right here and we can't find the right words to say or we can't find the courage to say exactly what we want to say and how we want to say it. And really it's because we're afraid. We're afraid of rejection. We're afraid of failure. And we're afraid of ridicule. I have known that feeling quite well throughout my life. I was born in Mexico and I spent the first eight years of my life there. And then when I was eight years old, we moved to the United States. And even though I had proficiency in English, I quickly found that my English, it wasn't quite good enough for the English speakers. And I also found that my Spanish, well, it wasn't good enough for the Spanish speakers either. And I kept making mistakes and getting ridiculed. And I remember one instance in particular, we were in the classroom and we were doing some sort of an activity and I made a grammatical mistake and suddenly the class erupted in laughter. And I stood up wanting to speak up for myself and I said, hey, I know my words aren't good now, but they're gonna get gooder. Not my best comeback ever. So I created a story in my head that in order to stay safe, I needed to stay silent. And I think that a lot of us live in that particular story, especially leaders. But leaders know that leadership is not about staying safe and it is not about staying silent. Steve Zaffron and Dave Logan say it this way in their three laws of performance. Leadership is empowering others to rewrite the already existing default future and to realize goals that weren't going to happen. From this definition, 100% of leadership happens through conversations that 
pull people into the game, not through sitting back and creating visions that then need to be sold. Confident communication is the front door to all leadership. Now, most people think that confident communication is about hand gestures and podiums and PowerPoints. Now, those are the mechanics of communication, which don't actually work if there's not a powerful intention behind them. It's kind of like making a car look really shiny and new with a brand new paint job, except it doesn't have an engine. Yeah, the car looks great but it's not really going anywhere. And the intention starts with us. You see, confident communication is knowing yourself, knowing your message, and having the courage to share that message with others. In my programs, which can be virtual or in person, I walk you through confident communication experiences to amplify your voice so that you can speak up in the way you want to speak up. The first experience is worthiness, where we take an inventory of our past accomplishments and skills and talents and eliminate the imposter experience so that we understand that worthiness fuels our words and that we are worthy to be heard. The second experience is authenticity, where we speak how we want to speak. We use the words and and the way that we want to speak those words in a way that inspires and motivates our audience. And finally, we experience power. I walk you through the three T's of confident communication, which radically transforms your confidence, not just in communication, but in every facet of your life. And When we experience worthiness, authenticity, and power, not only does our confidence build, but when leaders lead from that space, their results, they get gooder and gooder and gooder. Thank you all so much. I'm so excited to be connecting with all of you soon. Thank you, Eric. Hey, Eric, I'm pretty darn happy that you decided to speak up. And yes, in fact, you are gooder. Um, Is it gooder, better, or best? Congratulations, Eric. And Eric, loved your shirt. Uh, Something I would wear. I just don't have it. If you want to send me one, uh, that would be awesome. Love to have one. I'll wear it at a future showcase. 